Okay, this reading is for Taurus, um, the second decon. The dates for that is May 1st to the 2nd. This is just a simple reminder that I'm reading for the collective, so there will be a few different messages for each card, perhaps. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Um, don't force it. Also, if there's nothing that resonates with you, you just simply do not need a message this month, okay? So, um... You already are on the right path. You already know what's going on. You're ready. You're cool. Um, just pay attention to next month. And there might be a message in there for you. Um, another thing I like to remind everybody is that my cards are not gender-based. So if you have a king of wands, it does not need to um, have it, it. It's not male, okay? It's just about the characteristics, basically. So just keep that in mind. Um attention the characteristics not the gender it's about the message okay all right so you have four cards here the number four signifies that the angels are with you 444 is known to be the angels favorite number sequence this is a simple reminder that the angels are near and supporting you and that they are likely giving you a hand and helping the universe bring you blessings. All right, so we have Seven of Swords as your first card in reverse. And what that signifies is like, you know, a punishment. Um, being caught, making amends. So... It's pretty self-explanatory there, but let's just keep going and I'll go back to that. We'll explain it more here, okay? The world card is your next card. Um, it signifies a fulfillment, an inner and outer peace, achievement of goals, and a closure, a rebirth, and perhaps traveling. It's ironic because the first reading for Taurus was kind of about the same thing starting off here, okay? So... You can go ahead and um, watch that reading as well. Maybe that will resonate with a lot of you as well. But anyways, um, so what I'm seeing here is there was obviously some sort of argument or something. Um, someone was being caught doing something wrong um, and perhaps they're getting their karmatic punishment for it, okay? And I feel like somebody is going to be coming up and around you and your life to apologize um if not there is going to be something within you that um is getting closure from that even without an apology it can go either way um everybody's situation is different but that's for a few of you out there um a lot of you will be traveling this month in july um you're going to have a sense of fulfillment. There is going to be an achievement of goals for a lot of you. And I feel like it has to do a lot with somebody's closure of something. This apology. It's going to be like a rebirth. You're going to feel like a brand new person. Something isn't weighing you down anymore. Um, you're releasing something. Uh, but definitely a new start. You're making amends with something or something within you. Now, for a lot of you, considering this next card, I feel like this is a relationship-based, an apology from someone from the past, okay? Um, they could be apology, apologizing to you, coming back to apologize, or, like I said, something within you didn't even need that apology. You're finally getting closure, because your next card is the Two of Cups, but it's in reverse. So, um, normally, the Two of Cups is kind of like you know, a proposal, a marriage. So if it's in reverse, it means a breakup, a separation, um, arguments, like disinterest in someone else, um, kind of based here. For a lot of you, like I said, it could be someone in the past coming up. And for a lot of you, this could be coming up. Perhaps you're already thinking about this breakup. Perhaps you're already, you're just sick of the arguments. There's going to be a separation. Um, for you in some sort of way but like I said the world card came up right so there's good things coming um there's going to be an achievement of goals there's going to be a closure and it's between you and someone else um 
there's going to be a fulfillment out of it. There's going to be inner and outer peace from it. There's going to be a transformation from it, period, a rebirth from this breakup, either one in the past you're finally getting closure from or one that is coming up. All right, the next card here, we have Seven of Wands. Um, it represents like self-defense, a completion, um, kind of like a completion of obstacles. There's going to still be some, but there's they're going to be completed at the end of it. Um, it could also represent assertiveness and competition so this this rebirth this um, achievement of goals here is going to teach you how to be more assertive um, this breakup this split from the past or whatever um, it's going to teach you to be more assertive it's going to teach you to defend yourself with healthy boundaries um, it's going to be a completion for you and you're going to be able to complete other obstacles in more of a balanced way um, for some of you there might be there might have been like a competition from this two of cups and perhaps there was a decision between you and someone else or you had a decision between someone else and them okay and um, It was like a competition based thing and it kind of put you into that uh, punishment, self punishment, the seven of swords that we read. It might have maybe you punished yourself for it within or um, either way, like if you had two choices, you know, or someone else did, there was still some sort of punishment inside, something that drew you down. And it caught you on an imbalance within your mind and heart, um, physical, spiritual. You get what I'm saying? But there's a rebirth coming from all of this. So there might be some things that a few different like inner obstacles, inner growth, inner truths is going to be popping up here in July. But it's all going to work out in the end. There's going to be um, a transformation and a rebirth from it. Okay? So stay positive. Good things are coming. Good things are coming. Even with tears in your eyes, just remember to keep saying that good things are coming. And they do. Positive affirmations really do work, I promise. So your first one it says light look to the space between the trees for answers kind of goes with what I was saying about the positive affirmations um, just remember to look at the light side of things things get shifted and moved in our life so we can reconstruct and reconfigure our path um, so just remember that some things were removed in your life because they weren't meant to be there and they weren't meant to cross the path that you're supposed to be on okay so look towards the light look between the space between the trees for answers. The good, positive answers. Don't fall to negative thinking. Friends. The most unlikely friendships can form. Like variegated lichens on a hard rock, they create a tight bond. So for a lot of you with this apology or whatever, um, there could be, you know, some sort of unification from it and you might actually be friends with someone you never thought you would talk to again. Um, for a lot of you, if you need to look for that light, look through your friends. They will give you some more positive affirmations that you might need. Don't close up. Um, remember to still have an open mind. Stay social. Don't go in hermit mode because of all of this. Unless you need some good reflection, but don't stay there for too long. But good things are coming. You're going to have the world in your hands very soon. Extreme fulfillment. <laughs> 